attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, when you need Nelson. You need Nelson. At yesterday's Board of County Commissioners meeting, discussion was had regarding the accepting of a donation from Valley Electric Association in the amount of $5 million and some land near their building on Highway 372 to construct a community center. Nye County Manager Tim Sutton started off the item with giving some background on it. Uh, approximately three years ago when Valley Electric sold its redundant transmission line, some of the representations that the co-op made to the public were that they were going to make uh, individual payouts to account holders uh, to the, in the amount of $579, which they did. Uh, another promise that was made uh, was that they were going to give $5 million um, and some land for the construction of a community center. Um, after that promise was made, there was a group that was formed that met and discussed um, the different ways that, uh, that this could be uh, implemented and, and administered. Group uh, came up with a design. Um, then VEA had some internal issues and, and so the discussions on that kind of fell apart. Uh, since then I have been approached by VEA representatives who said, hey, would the county be interested in taking over this project and being responsible for the five million dollar donation which VEA is still uh, prepared to donate and then also the, uh, the the land which is right next to their headquarters. Commissioner Wickman makes a motion to accept the donation from VEA. After the motion, Commissioner Koenig asked that if we accept the money and the land, do we have to build that community center on that specific land or if they can put it somewhere else. Commissioner Blundo puts in his two cents about the chairman's question. Um, some, some of the conversations I've had was, we, we accept both, and if we don't like the land, we can always sell the land, because the land is not, in my opinion, in I, a very favorable location. I agree, that's why I'm asking the question. I, I think a lot of these questions, what I was gonna suggest was, we need to have staff, let's have this committee, let's have a couple people interested. <laughs> because I know we'll get more mileage if they build it and then give us the building. Tim Sutton tells the chairman that he doesn't know the answer to that, but he can find that out. Commissioner Koenig asks if we can make it contingent on being allowed to put the center wherever they want, and while Strickland agrees with him that the land isn't favorable, she's against it being contingent on anything. Commissioner Wickman asks a question. There, is, there are other steps along the way, correct? There are. This wouldn't be final action. I mean, the LOI indicates that, one, that it's not non-binding, and also states at the very end that uh, there will be a, a joint agreement of the terms of the, of the land and, and donation transfer. Um, so what we could do, is, basically all we wanted to do today is to find out if the board is inclined to even look at this, and it sounds like you are, and so um, I can start looking at the questions that you've asked, and I can meet with VEA representatives, and if you have any other additional questions that... I, I, um, I, I, if I may. The chairman calls for the vote. Call for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Unanimous. Do you feel like you have...